Hello everyone, welcome back to On The Fly. Today we're going to be taking a look at the NHL playoff matchup between the Colorado Avalanche and the Winnipeg Jets. We'll operate into it today with a little bit of the playoff history, and as you can probably see to my left here, there is none. We're seeing NHL history in this series with these two teams never playing before in the playoffs, so always a treat when we get to see it. But this matchup is going to be a good one. Two teams that are very, very evenly matched, and when it comes down to it, it's going to be a tight series right to the very end. Would not surprise me to see it go to seven, but also wouldn't surprise me to see it go to four. You know, these two teams have the ability to really push the pace of play. And I think really that first game is, is what we have to look for. See, you know, who's going to take this series by the reins and really take it home. Definitely going to be an interesting one. But as we take a look here now, it's sort of the series matchup in terms of the regular season between these two teams. We start off on December 7th. 4-2 victory for the Winnipeg Jets in Colorado, as well as on December 16th in Winnipeg was a 6-2 victory for the Jets. And lastly, here on April 13th was a 7-0 victory for the Winnipeg Jets in, convinc in convincing fashion. So when we look at it, you know, if we're taking it just by series and sort of the regular season series, sure, you know, I'd, I'd give advantage to, to Winnipeg right off the top. But these scores really don't reflect what these games were. You know, these these two teams are very, very evenly matched. And they will come down right to the very end. And we'll flip it over here now to sort of some of the key injuries we're looking at. As you can probably see, you know, Colorado has a couple key injuries you want to take notice. So Jonathan Duran is one. He's been playing on that top line, right? When we look at it, uh, Landis Gog is another guy who's out. He might be back in the second or third round, maybe the final. He might be able to come back. First round is very unlikely, sort of that outside chance, but never, never sort of ruled out. Another guy is Samuel Gerard on that defensive line he's a player that you know second line defenseman might have a little bit of sway to the team they can get him back that'd be a huge pickup they can get Duran back that's another big pickup as well both those guys are sort of day-to-day -day. they're not going to give you too much in terms of what they are but of course we'll, we'll, we'll see that as the as, as the series goes on Gerard is a concussion so you know he he's really is a, a truly day-to-day -day player whether or not he'll be able to come back is, is up in the air right because at the end of the day it's how well he feels yeah, and when he gets cleared to come back from the concussion. So for him, you know, maybe day-to-day -day is is pretty accurate. Duran, really don't know he you know where his injury's at. Landis Gog will probably be second, third, or fourth round. As well as Logan O'Connor is out for the series, out for the playoffs. He won't be returning. For the Winnipeg Jets, it's just one injury with Morgan Barron. He's a player that, you know, might have a little bit of impact on that for third and fourth line for the Jets. Hard to say if he'd even crack the roster, but I think when we look at it, you know, sort of that fourth line kind of player, if the Jets want to put him in, he could be a little bit of a huge pickup for the Jets if they can get him back into that fourth line. We'll take now a look at the X factors, and these are players I'm really looking for that are sort of outside your general obvious players. You know, you can when you look at the Avalanche, you're thinking McKinnon, McCarr, whoever it might be to really take that next step. For me, I want to take a look at the, some of the players that ne not necessarily aren't their sort of throwaway names, but at the same time, players that can make a serious impact in this in this series. So the first one is Zach Parise, and when we look at him, you know, he's retiring this year. He's looking for one final goal at the Stanley Cup, and what better team to do it with than the Colorado Avalanche? For me, he's a player that I'm looking to to really step up his game. You know, he's, had a, he's signed in January, so he hasn't had too much action, but you know, when we look at it, he's a player that's shown success in years past, especially in the playoffs. If they can get any form of that Minnesota playoff, Zach Parise, the Colorado Avalanche might just have a shot at winning this series. As well as the Terry Lekkinen for is sort of my second player. He's the guy that you always look to in those clutch moments. When you think about it, you know, he's, he's the guy that scores the goals in those big moments, who, who gets that perfect assist in the right moment when you need him. He's the player I'm really looking for to sort of change the way this series is going to run. As well as Sean Walker is another one. We talked about earlier with Sam Gerrard out. He's a player that I think will fill that void. And, you know, he, he sort of fits in quite nicely on that second line with Manson. We'll see how... The the, the Avs sort of want to play that, whether or not they do put him in, but he's a player I expect to get a lot more minutes in this in this upcoming series for for the Avs. And when we look at it, you know, he's going to be a crucial part to the team's success when you have to shut down all four lines from the Winnipeg Jets. They're going to need all three pairings of defensemen to really step up their game in this playoffs. As for the Winnipeg Jets, three players I'm going to look at as Dylan DeMello is the first one here. 
plus minus demon. He's a, he's a leading in the he's leading in plus minus in the across the entire league in the regular season. He's a player I'm really looking for to sort of shut down the entire entire Colorado Avalanche team. He's really relied upon, gets all the minutes, but at the same time, he's so, he's a solid player who puts in the who puts in the work. And at the end of the day, he's going to be that shutdown pairing alongside Morrissey. So we'll see if he can continue that as well as Neil Pionk is another guy who's sort of just a jack of all trades. You know, he's gonna be he's gonna be feisty he's gonna put up the points he's gonna play good defensive hockey he's sort of everything you're looking for out of a defenseman in the playoffs he's the guy i'm really looking to in the series to sort of turn the tide if you know if the avalanche get a couple quick ones he's the guy i'm really looking to sort of try and change that and, and put the momentum back in winnipeg's favor so the last one here is Mason Appleton, sort of on that third line, right? And he's a player that I could really see sort of taking that next step and, and sort of putting his team. Because if he can get hot, we've seen it. When he gets hot, he's a dangerous, dangerous player on that third line. But, you know, if he's cold, might be a different series for this for this Winnipeg Jets team. So although I have to pick one player and I picked Appleton, it really is going to be to come down to that. If that third line can get going at the right time, the Colorado Avalanche are going to have a tough time going here. We'll hop it over now to the keys to success for the Colorado Avalanche first. So they've been there. They've done that. They won a cup a couple of years ago. And when we look at it in that sense, you know, they have a lot of the same players still in their on their team. So we'll see if they're able to, you know, sort of take that next step and make it another deep playoff run this year. I, I think when we look at sort of what these te two teams' compositions are, these teams are both Stanley Cup contenders through and through. So it's going to make for a good series as both teams are looking to make it to the next round to really start their journey towards the Cup. Second one is Shining Stars. When we look at it, you know, they, the Colorado Avalanche have a lot of star power. Their stars have to come to play and really shine in this one if Colorado wants a chance to win. You know, you're looking at McKinnon, Rantanen, McCarr, whoever it might be, they have to step up their game and really lead the team on to that next step if Colorado wants any chance at winning this series, as well as no home ice. Unfortunately for the Colorado Avalanche, they do not have home ice in this one coming the third seed. So when we look at it, you know, they're the team that won the most games at home. They're the team that had the best record at home. They don't have the home ice advantage this year, but it will be interesting to see how they perform on the road at in, in Winnipeg. Obviously, they have the white oak going on, so there's a little bit of that for them. Sort of have to sort of get accustomed to. So when we look at it, you know, the trick to the Colorado Avalanche in this one is set the tone early, get that first win, get home ice back in your favor, and really just run it like you have the entire entire year. They've played good hockey up to this point, and we'll see if they can continue it. As for the Winnipeg Jets, depth scoring is going to be crucial for them. They need all four lines running. This team is probably, in my opinion, at least the deepest forward group we have in the entire NHL. So when we look at it, of course, if you're going to have a lot of depth, you need them to perform on the highest stage. And that's what the Winnipeg Jets need to do to be successful in this series. As well, the defense first mentality. That's what's allowed the Winnipeg Jets to be so good this year and really take that next step. We think back to last year when they had all these different problems, right? PLD was a big one. You also had Blake Wheeler. You had all these different problems in the team. But this year, it just seems a little bit different. You know, they're playing good hockey. They're playing sort of a full a full ice of hockey, both two-way game. That's what they need to do to be successful, is shut down the Colorado Avalanche, and then also at the same time, take the advantage of, when, of what they give you and put the puck in the back of the net. That's how they'll be successful in this one. And the last point here is home ice. With the Winnipeg Jets, they got the white out behind them. At the end of the day, they need to put the puck back in the back of the net and win the games at home. They can win all four games at home. They're golden. They can take one on the road. Crucial, awesome, great. For the Winnipeg Jets, win early, set the tone, and sort of take the series from there. But take a look at now at the matchup. We talked about it already. The offense for me has to be the Winnipeg Jets. Sure, the star power, the Colorado Avalanche, but at the end of the day, when it boils down to it, you need all four lines firing, and the Winnipeg Jets have the best chance of that. As well, the defense, I think we have to give it to the Colorado Avalanche. Just the way that their team is built, the, their defense is just stacked upon stacks. So for them, I'm going to I'm gonna give the, the defense of the Colorado Avalanche, but lastly, of course, Hellebuck in net. No one's going to be better than that. Probably going to be the, your Vezina winner this year. So for me, the goaltender has to go to the Winnipeg Jets. And lastly here, I'm going to take the Winnipeg Jets in seven games. For all the factors we sort of already listed, you know that all four lines are going to be firing for the Jets. And at the end of the day, I think that's going to overwhelm that sort of Colorado defense and Georgia Evan net. Who knows what's going to go on there? So for me, the Winnipeg Jets are your winners in seven games. If you made it this far, 
enjoying the video, thank you for watching. If you'd like to drop a like, if you realize you're subscribing, tell all your friends and comment down below your thoughts on the Winnipeg Jets versus Colorado Avalanche. Until next time, see you.